Hello, hello, hello. How are we? We're all back. Oh, I've got a couple of people watching already. How are we doing? Sorry, I'm just bringing everything up on screen. Hey, hey, Tina. Alrighty. Hey, Chris, how you going? So, welcome back. Hey, Wendy. Um, oh, I've got a squeaky chair. I really must do something about this squeaky chair. So, I, hey, Sharon. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to create a page in my junk journal. Um, I thought that it would be a fantastic opportunity to pump out a little, pump out a little creative page. Hello, Michelle. Um, create a, a page using these amazing little junk journals. Um, I'm going to play, play with some collage paper and from Scrap Effects and the Tim Holtz one. Um, and uh, some acrylic paint from Dina Wakeley and Dilutions. So uh, I've also got some new Dina Wakeley stencils to use and some of my Natalie May scrapbooking stamps. So for those of you playing along at home, welcome back. And I, for those of you who are new, uh, this weekend as part of the Great Australian Craft Show, I will be doing two demos a day, showing you how to do some cool stuff. Um, the demos are all free, but you get to hear me waffle on about all the awesome stuff in my online store. So, um, and then I make you buy all of the things. Um, so this weekend online, you will find 15% uh, off stamps and stencils, 15% off pattern papers, 15% off of all Lindy's products as well. So embossing powers and um, things like that. And then I, today only, we have 15% off of Dilutions paints and Dina Wakeley paints. So that's these little guys. Um, so they come down in price to just over five bucks. Um, hey, Michelle. And then you get a bit of an idea on, I'm going to show you how to use some and how easy they are to use today. Um, so tomorrow there'll be a brand new special and trust me, you're going to want to pop on back for that one. Um, okay, so enough waffling on from me. This is my my junk journal. I love my junk journal. These are Scrap FX junk journals. These are an Australian product. They are designed and manufactured here in Australia, which, um, as we all know at the moment, is super important. There are lots of different ones that I have available. So I've got the Lace Journal, which is the one that I'm actually working in, uh, the Geometric Journal, there's Construction, Nature, and Chevrons. The difference between them is, other than the fact that they all have different sorts of pages and substrates to them, they've got these amazing little die cuts. And so this is the G, the chevrons, then we've got the geometric, the nature, etc. So these are great little additions to your journaling and they make you think. Um, I think that's what I like about them the best. They make me think about what I have to do with these pages. Um, so they have laser cut pages, random pages, um, index tabs, shapes, tags, etc, etc. So um, giving you, I've, I've created quite a few little pages in mine. So with the one that I've got here, this front page is an envelope. And then I've started doing a few little art journal pages in here as well. So this is the one that's got this great little cutout, wrong hand, here. So you can see that that cutout looks amazing and incorporated into the page. Uh, then this is a page that I've done before in one of my lives and it's got the tag that goes with it. Then we come into a, uh, what is that? A book page or some description. Um, and then some die cut pages, dictionary pages, some acetate sheets, the um, the shaped cutout one. We've got street directory. So I really love that they make me think, and I think that's really 
important when you are journaling. It's nice to step out of your comfort zone and do something a little bit different. Um, this is one of the pages that I've done in one of my online classes. Then another one that I've done in one of the live Facebooks. Um, a sneaky page coming up that you didn't see for Lindy's gang. Uh, and what else have I done? I think that's all I've done at the moment. So just today, what I need to do is choose a page to work on. I might go here. So I have got a slightly glossy street directory page and I have got uh, the back of a piece of graph paper by the looks here. So a couple of different surfaces to work on. When I'm creating in all of my journals, um, I get some baking paper. I just use the good old black and gold baking paper and slide that in so that I don't get, and I'm going to get rid of this extra page here. Hang on. Get rid of that, take that out of the equation. Um, yes, I will... Use an, a piece of paper underneath so any extra bits that go over the edges um, don't make my pages stick together and I've got a nice surface that I can go right to the edges if I need to. This is the... Yeah, there we go. I'm going to do that. So that is my, my nice clean little workspace ready to go. So what I'm thinking is um, grabbing one of these collage papers uh, by ScrapFX and... I want to use, I love these because they're hand drawn, they look very, very cool. And I want to use one of these faces to go on here. I'm hoping for the rest of my scrap, scrap, scrap effects delivery to arrive today. Um, oh, great. Now the dogs have started. Um, so before I do anything else, scissors. Are you kidding? How did I forget scissors? So I've got these scissors. These are 100 years old, but they'll do. Um, no, can't work with those scissors. Hang on. Okay, all is right with the world. Uh, Mandy's just asking, how are my beautiful puppies? My beautiful puppies are... Nothing but trouble at the moment. Um, Ollie is being an absolute pain in the ass. He is like having a toddler again, um, having a one-year-old bulldog. Um, not that I'm, I'm bagging having toddlers, but I could totally do without it. Um, and I notice that Jenny is watching. Um, Jenny is one of my lovely regulars and best driving instructor in Adelaide. And Jenny also has a puppy. So she's feeling the pain as well. Um, but yeah, look, my two beautiful little bulldogs are great. Uh, I think this afternoon, once I pop a bit of mascara on, I might do a bit of a Facebook chat. Um, I might do that maybe, I don't know, six, seven o'clock tonight. Just show you some bits and pieces, have a look and see what's if anything's come in today. Um, you know, with, a, with an online show, it's hard to do the whole shopping thing unless you can touch and feel. So I thought I would um, show you the hot mess that is the studio at the moment and give you a bit of an idea on um, some of the cool papers and bits and pieces. So, all right, so I want to pop her here. But before I do that, I need to lay down some a uh, bit of a foundation on my page because she's going to sit on top. Um, I'm going to start with some paint. I've got some a combination of Dina Wakeley and Dilusions paints and I'm just trying to have a bit of a think about what colourway I'm going to go with here. Um, just chat amongst yourselves while my brain ticks over. Oh look at me overthinking today. Right I'm just going to jump in and whack some paint on. So I've got Dina Wakeley turquoise um, and I'm using my catalyst tool as a as a brush. Um, I don't want to put too much dark colour down in this area because, of course, that's going to go there. So I'm just popping a little on. So my catalyst tool, I'm really using that swipey sort of feel. Um, 
I didn't clean it after my last live. Uh, but let me show you how easy it is to get clean. So I don't know if you can see the paint has stuck where the crusty bits are, right? So I just tend to grab my knife and swipe it over and then peel it off. It's that super satisfying. Thing. All right. Anyway, so swiping it on and swiping it off means that I'm going to get a nice thin layer of paint, which is exactly what I'm after. Um, I'm noticing that there's this blue that's in here. Let's look at incorporating some of that. Oh, look at that. Perfect match. I don't think I could do that again if I tried. London blue. Pretty good. Um, vertical strokes are going to make it all look very, um, you, you want consistent strokes. You want something that's gonna be visually pleasing. Let's move my coffee out of the way. Probably, I was trying to finish that, but I kept replying to emails and, and doing the work things and totally got sidetracked. Um, so I'm not wanting it to be super, super dark and super, um, Perfect, I just want the colour on there for now. And I've got to pop a bit of yellow on. So the Dina Wakeley paints are normally, um, think Dina Wakeley and Dilutions paints are normally 650 and I have marked them down 15%. So for those of you out there good at maths, um, raise your hands because I make pretty things for a living and... I don't do maths straight up, not my strong point, and I'm okay with that. Don't have to be good at everything. Um, but I think it's like 550, 535 something to each. Anyway, enough waffle. Come on, who's good with the maths? Bring it to me. 15% off $6.50, guys. Okay, I'm going to pop a little yellow I've got an area here I need to cover and a bit more cover over there um, I want some more of that aqua I think it's going to whack a bit on the edges and then I'm going to put something really light in here um, in probably like mineral or something along those lines, something with a little bit of colour. Um, yeah, totally just, I'm okay with not doing maths. Hey, Robin, how are you, darling? Mineral. So mineral is like a, um, not quite the grey like the elephant of the Dina Wakeley. Um, paints, but it's got more of a blue base to it, perhaps. Um, very, very nice colour. And kind of blends and goes with just about everything. So what I'm finding here, playing in the junk journal, compared to my normal, uh, my normal art journal, is that the surface is different. So the paper's moving around a lot more. I'm being pretty rough with it here, and I keep forgetting that I'm working with a... On a different surface um, consequently the page keeps ruffling up a little bit so these are the sorts of things that you start to um, pick up and start to learn as you're playing in a junk journal so different papers react in different ways which of course we all know but it's not until you are playing with it then you kind of go oh shit that's right I'm not in my normal art journal um, so if I go back that way at the moment it's going to catch because it's quite a thin, flimsy paper. But, just the same, I still freaking love it. Um, I still think it's amazing because I'm having to stop and think about what I'm doing and love me a challenge. All right, that works for me. Good enough is close enough. Um, clean my palette knife. 
What was that, Michelle? Junk journals are always great to get. Yeah, and grunge, grunge works. So, you know, this is, I'm not creating to um, impress you guys. I'm creating something here to show you some really fun techniques, but to show you that it's easy and make something easy, something fun. I, I'm not being, you know, I'm not scoring anyone out of 10. But um, I really love that challenge and I love the idea of playing. Okay, so Tim Holtz Ideology Collage Paper. This is the typeset one. Um, this is my favourite this week. Um, I also have in stock at the moment the botanical one. So that's the one with the big, beautiful flowers on it. That's really nice. Um, I also have the plain collage paper so that you can do your own stamping and create your own uh, collage paper then i also have the travel one which has got the maps on it which is really nice and that's got some nice ledger bits and pieces in it uh what else have i got the document one and also the typography so the document one is exactly that it's full of these really cool little documents typography is all about typeset letters and bits and pieces so they are all online for $12 each you will find those under the heading on the website um, find those under the heading of collage paper simple um, so what I love about these is he has they've used my favorite stamp set which is the Tim Holtz um, the I don't even know what it's called the alphabetty sort of one um, I am a massive fan of big numbers and I really, really love big alphabets, big numbers, things like that. The only thing I don't love about this paper, and there's probably plenty of people who agree with me, that it only tears well one way. And of course, because that's the way the grain of the paper works, but it tears beautifully if I go that way, but the print doesn't go that way. And I really want to focus on this bit here. And I'm going to pop that guy there. I am when I'm art journaling and scrapbooking. I really dislike sharp edges like this, so I will always tear off. Even though it's torn straight, it hasn't torn totally straight. So I'm going to gel medium that guy there. My fabulous girl face, girl face, my head, the noggin is going to go there. Um, I want to pop. I don't know what I want to do here. Hang on. I want to pop that down across the bottom. And that's going to work well because I've got the balance of dark up here. I'm going to have a little bit down here. And then I can tear that and that's going to go like so. So I'm starting to build uh, my page a little bit. It's just so, again, visually pleasing. We know that it's going to, you know, I want it to work and still look nice even though it's got that messy sort of effect to it so something along those lines right how do we stick it down um yes you can use a glue stick if you are that way inclined i'm not that way inclined i'm a gel medium girl uh and i'm gonna also use some of this this is another one of the um, 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 um scrap effects papers so i might pop a little of that in In a minute okay um, so I'm going to use the gel medium to stick these down because it gives me a great surface to work on um, I found my Tim Holtz distress brush again I had lost it and I love it to the point where I ordered these guys in this is the abstract Montmartre 25 mil brush they are soft and they are made for gel medium. They are super inexpensive as well. Highly recommend jumping on and grabbing one of those. Um, so gel medium to paint on your, um, your collage paper. Oh my God, my words are gone. So what I'm going to do is put it straight on here first. And then I'm going to, oh, I can't get it straight. 
and I'm going to pop it down here. So next thing I need to do is go over the top of it to make sure that it's all stuck down nicely. And by doing this, it helps make it a little bit more transparent. Um, the other thing that you'll notice that I always tend to do when I'm using collage paper is I polish. So I will do this, rub it out with my fingers. So what's happening here is I am taking off any excess gel medium and I'm also making sure that there's no bubbles underneath and it helps make it get into all of those little grooves that the paint may have left. So same thing down here, get a nice little base on there first. Because I'm going over a spine, I'm going to only put my adhesive on one side first. I didn't get that. Oh. Could you try again? <laughs> Anybody else had that problem where their Apple Watch talks to them? It's like it's eavesdropping. Siri is just one. I'm sorry. Stop it. Now she apologised. She's eavesdropping on me all the time. Um, okay, so same thing. So it takes off the excess by polishing it with your fingers. This is a tip that I picked up from Tim Holtz when I did a class with him, um, I don't know, I guess it was last year. I don't even know what month we're in now, for goodness sakes. Um, he showed me that tip and I thought that it was fantastic. Um, really, really good way of making sure that your gel medium is, and your collage medium is stuck down properly. So I'm just gonna get that little bit on there. Um, another thing that I didn't mention about these junk journals, the pages are loose. So you do need to, uh, it also comes with some cotton to, to bind them all together, but I've actually used some washi tape. And what I mean by that is, see so I've got some washi tape in here to join those joins. So the page that I'm working on now has already been taped down on the other side because it's one that I, the opposite page of what I started last time. Um, if that makes sense. But you need to make sure that your pages are secure. All right, bit up here because I liked that. Um, I'm also one of those people that can't do the whole crissy crossy collage paper elements. That just messes with my head. Um, you will know how I love something visually pleasing so that is just a hot mess so think about the uh the lines that you make the the things that your eye goes to on a page on a project whether it be scrapbooking or card making or art journaling even if you're creating it for yourself you still need to create something that looks nice so therefore Something that your eyes are fighting with, which is that crisscross sort of finish, um, just just doesn't work. Um, don't love it. All right, so we're on the right track here. Every now and again, I can pop my girl back. I know that she's going to go there. Um, I want to put some on this side, so I will tend to... I've got sticky fingers. Taper. I'm going to pop some down in there. Taper that corner. I just find it, it looks like it fits better if it is straight rather than all crisscrossed on an angle. Okay. Alrighty, so that's working quite nicely. Um, am I ready to put this on yet? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hang on. Let me think about this a bit more. Drink your coffee. I've been trying to drink that coffee since I got home from the gym at 10 this morning. It's been tipped out and restarted about four times, I reckon. Um, okay, so enough waffle. Let's just do this. Stop fluffing around and overthinking about it. Overthinking it. I'm just going to pop a bit more up through there. And putting gel medium across the center of your page in a junk journal like this is going to offer some stability to your pages as well. All 
Alrighty. Now I think I'm not ready to clean my brush yet. So just a bit of a tip, wrap it in a baby wipe with gel medium on it because you don't want it to dry because it will dry and just kill your brush and then it is absolutely stuffed. So I will wrap it in a baby wipe until I have decided that I've finished with it. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to add a little stamping. So I'm using my Don't Overthink stamp set, which is from my personal selection, my personal collection of um, stamps that I have made. And I'm going to use this guy. So when you buy um, one of the stamps that I've made, they come as a whole solid piece of rubber that you do need to cut down. So my tip for cutting them down, use your good Tim Holtz scissors. They work the bestest. And go in tight. So go in really tight to the image and then you don't get all of that extra um, over stamping. Whoops, I'm about to drop that. You don't get all that extra over stamping and you get something that will work really nicely. Um, I'm working, we're using black archival ink because I haven't decided if I'm going to add more paint to this. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm, and I'm not using a, an acrylic block either because I don't want to, I don't want something perfect. So I'm just going to lift my stamp, connecting it with that edge and I have created... Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, God, that makes me happy. Um, and I might just pop a little in here. So if I was to put it down on an acrylic block, it would give me this straight line across here that I don't actually want. Got a little bit of it, but I don't want that solid, solid line all the way through. Um, I only want these little halfy sort of circles okay so that is how I use my stamps so my stamps um, and my stencils that I have designed uh, with Natalie May scrapbooking are not on special they have no discount on them because I work too freaking hard to give any more discount <laughs> and I have um, and I have lowered them to the I have got them at the lowest possible price already so I will bring that up to screen so that you can see what I have done there. So you can see that that collage paper um, is not 100% transparent, but it's sitting in there quite nicely. Beautiful. Okay. Now I want to pop that on. So got my baby wiped. Brush, coffee. So how's everyone's afternoon going? I've spent the afternoon answering emails. Fluffing around, printing orders, doing things that, you know, I shouldn't be doing. Went outside and sat and played with the dogs for 10 minutes. And now they're both sunbaking on the lawn. Um... All right, so I'm just giving this a good coat here. And now I'm going to pop on my collage paper. Where do I want it? I want it a little bit off my page. All right, so I'm just giving it a good rub down just to make sure it's all stuck nice and good. The next thing I want to do is I want to go back over the top. Cake is in the oven. Oh, Elizabeth, I can go a cake. No, I don't need a cake. I've been to the gym this morning. Um, now, I want to go over the top with my gel medium to make sure that it is covered with gel medium. What's happening is if I had left that as that beautiful rice paper, the thing that I'm going to do next, which I haven't decided, but I don't know what sort of or if I'm going to colour this face. So I need to seal the surface. I think that sealing the surface is going to lay down a foundation for whatever's coming next. So exactly the same thing as before. And I'm making sure that all my edges are stuck down. Lightly collage. And then lightly polish. And it also takes away any brush strokes 
So if my brush is super brushy, like what is that? Super brushy. Um, I will get rid of any um, of those lines. So a little brush like this is great. The uh, Montmartre one that I have in store is also pretty freaking awesome too. Um, so that is stuck down. There is no, no brush marks. It's dried it off pretty quickly and now I need to dry, I put my brush in water before I completely shag that brush up. Scrub, scrub. All right. Looking good. Okay, hi Donya, I just saw you tune in there. Um, alrighty, so I'm gonna bring that up to camera. So you can see that it's looking pretty flat, but what putting the gel medium over the top will do is make sure that it is, um, you know, it's all got the same surface. So the whole page has pretty much got the same surface now. So I could watercolor over that. Um, or I could use my scribble sticks over the top of that or I could use my neo color crayons over the top of that or my gelato is to color that image or I could use Lindy's magicals because I've sealed it it's not be the paper's not be gonna <laughs> not going to become as porous as it would if it was you know unsealed um, alrighty what else can I add what else is in my little stash here Oh, I got the new Dina, <laughs> sorry, shag that brush up. Well, Karen, I could say, um, I could say another four letter word instead of shag, but um, I, yeah, I, I, I've done enough swearing. I need a swear jar on here. That's what I do need. Um, okay, new Dina Wakeley, O-M-F-G. Oh my freaking God, mantras. Love it. Done is better. Love it. So these are all online and they're all 15% off. Run. There's not many left. So I'm going to use done is better. I love this typeset feel that the whole thing here is going, for, going with at the moment. Um, do I want to add some more colour? No, I'm pretty happy with this. How am I going to do it? How am I going to add my colour? I've got a blending sponge. Didn't think this through, but... Oh, yeah, I know, Michelle. I When um, when the new Dina Wakeley release arrived this week, I struggled to only take a couple of things out of it. I took out those two stencils uh, because I'm such a sucker for words. Um, I took out the stencils and one of the stamps as well. Um, and I was massively restrained with doing that. Um, okay. So the color that I have here is night. So night is the universal color of art journaling. It's the color that goes with all of the, just all the things. Um, so this stencil says done is better, less per, oh, sorry. Done is better than perfect. Lose the fear of being wrong. Go with the flow. Decide to try. Go for it. Get out of your own way. Listen to your inner voice. Make. Um, I don't want to use it as a whole thing. I'm wanting to use it as a few bits and pieces. So I've got the night here on my excess baking paper. And I have soaked... My sponge has soaked it up, but not totally... Not totally super inky. Um, and then I'm just going to dab that baby on there. I'm not going for, for that perfect thing. I'm looking at filling the gaps around my page like that. Yeah, baby. Um, through the middle here, I've got decide to try but definitely the key with doing this with your with your um, sponge tool thingy blending tool is to not stress about you know I don't want it perfectly inky I want a nice loose color so I guess it's that 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 dirty ink sort of 
that dirty sponge sort of feel, I guess. Sorry, I'm focusing on what I'm doing here and not what I'm saying. Um, but you know what I mean. I don't, I don't want to add more paint to this because I don't want it to be super listen to your inner voice yeah baby I don't want it to be super dark so I want listen to your inner voice to go across here because what I can do if it's not deep enough I can outline it in a black pen I can add some doodling in and around it I can make it stand out more Cool, 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 cool potatoes. All right, so. Getting along, it's all happening. Right, I need to, I can't see an overall picture here because of this um, baking paper. So what I need to do is pull the baking paper off. And cut off my overflow my overlap paper to get a good idea on what I'm up to here work out if I need to color her or not I'm going with not what's the vote peeps do I color her and risk totally shagging it up I love that there's a 20 second delay here and I've got no idea what's going on Cutting off the excess paper, don't colour. Thank you, Joanne. Michelle, no colour. Love it the way it is. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, Michelle Logan, who is currently online, she is one of the designers for Scrap FX. So it is Michelle, who is here in Australia, who is putting her awesomeness on paper to design some of these beautiful little bits and pieces, these collage papers. So using collage papers on your art journal pages, uh, it, it's easy, it's, it's not at all hard. Um, maybe a bit of a wash on her lips and eyes. I did actually think of giving her a little pop on here of blue. Um, and I need to add a little bit of a frame around the page as well. Because the page is an uneven height, um, I like the idea of, of framing it um, as well. So, all right. What else have I got floating around? I might, no, Natalie, don't, don't touch any more stamps and stuff it up. So I think I just want to add some frame and add a little pop of colour in and around the eyes. How do I do that? Let's look at getting a smaller paintbrush that's almost clean. And I want to pick up one of these other colours that I've used here before. Not that one. The one next to it. Alright. But I only want a tiny, tiny amount. So this time I've just got like a ridiculously small amount in fact I'm gonna pick that up off there and I'm gonna like take it off of my sponge instead so this is just to pop a little pop of color in and around the eye it's really the wrong paintbrush people yeah that's it all right you see that just a tiny, tiny pop of colour. So, for the edges of my page to create a nice little frame, I have got... Um, yeah, hi Lucy. Um, yeah, it is. It's one of the Scrap FX Girls collage papers. Um, there's two faces on the page. And this is the one I like out of the two for today. Um, okay, sponge. Just a bit of inking on the edges 
it's nothing nothing too much it's just a little pop of color on the edges but the junk journals again i've just been reminded that the pages are a little flimsy so um, you will find the junk journals on the website under scrap effects in that heading you will also find the junk journals i think in the journals um section as well so um you will have plenty of ways of finding them um all right so that works for me nearly finished um i've got my pilot drawing pen so these are my go-to pens for drawing over paint um this is a number five I also have a number eight. I think I want to use the thicker one. Why do I want to use the thicker one? Because I've got thicker images in here. I've got thick images in here. I've got big bold blacks in here. And I need to make sure that I don't want something fine. I want something that is a little bit bolder. You could also use a food ball pen if that is your go-to. Um, I... This is my favourite of the day. Um, you know, like most paper crafters, it all changes from week to week to week and what our favourites are. But at the moment, this is the one that I reach for every single time. And it is waterproof. Loving the waterproof. Um, so just as I finish this up, um, the to, to waffle on a bit more about the, the website, um, stamps and stencils, 15% off. Today only, Dina Wakeley and Dilusions Acrylic Paints. Also 15% off. So that is the Thursday special. Um, there is also paper collections such as 49 and Market, AB Studios, Minte, Simple Stories, all the paper collections, Uniquely Creative, Paper Rose, and in all the sizes as well, they are all 15% off. Um, Lindy's Gang Magicals, embossing powders, 15% off. Sprays are 15% off, all the things. Um, sorry, for some reason I'm not concentrating. There we go. So I've just drawn a little black mark around the edges of it. Uh, I could also take my Stabilo pencil. So for those of you who haven't used a Stabilo before, a Stabilo is a, best description, super black, super black water soluble pencil. Um, how water soluble? Oh, and it writes on everything. So it also writes on uh, glass and paper and plastic and metal. Um, it smudges a little as well, but it dries and it sets. So what I love about it, sorry, whack the camera as well, is that when you water activate it, it goes totally black. Some others have got a blue base to them. Um, some have got a purple base to them. This one has got a totally black base to it. And it is a permanent as well. And I have some white stipulos in pencil in stock as well. So stipulo pencils. Um, so I can just deepen up my edges here and then it makes it look like that I have drawn it instead of the incredibly talented Tanya. Um, all right, what else is happening? I have, I'll come back tonight when Jessica gets home from school and boyfriend and done her homework and whatnot. I'll jump back on tonight and show you some other things. We've got some new aprons, some new Natalie May aprons. Um... Some really nice new papers that have come in as well um, over the last 24 hours and some bits and pieces. So I'll pop back tonight, pop a bit of lippy on and, and come in and say hey. And see if the puppies want to come in and say hello. Um, so yeah, there you go. Actually, I, actually, I quite like that now that I've just darkened that. Um, the, the hair and added a few little lines in here because it's tying it all together with the deep with the depth in here and I'm not going to water activate it I'm just going to leave it as this nice deep 
line and let you know pop that aside to dry because what will happen is it will I need to whiten that don't I um, it will it'll dry it'll set um, pilot Pintor pens I banged on about these during the last um, Great Australian Craft Show. Um, I even had a daily special, but they're only five bucks. They, they're freaking brilliant. But these are these are a bit more heavily pigmented, I find, than Posca's. Um, and they work almost instantly every time I have found. So I've just sold out of the super fine ones, the extra fine ones. But I have got plenty of the fine in stock. And I've got plenty of the medium in stock. And I've also got some of the big broad ones too. So just by... Just by using a paintbrush, just to whiten the whites of her eyes. And do that. All right. Hey, Heather. Welcome, darling. Oh, Heather, can you check your messages too? I've sent you a um, a Facebook message, message about the Vicky Booten papers. Oh, and that's the other thing, guys. If any of you are massive Vicky Booten fans like um, I am, you will notice that I have got available online her kits, which are... She's doing a fantastic online class next month and I am going to be, I've, I'm selling her kits on her behalf to do the class. And I think I have six kits left and they are choppers full of product, like a ridiculous amount of product. So that's good. All right, so you can just see what I'm doing with the white. I'm just adding some highlights in the hair just because I had a little puddle here that I had to use up and I can't leave it alone. All right. Knowing when to stop is important and I'm going with now. So in finishing, I'm going to bring this up to camera. So that you can see what I've done. So for those of you who um, have just tuned in, I'm using the Scrap Effects Junk Journal. I am using a, we, we added some acrylic paint in the background first. So we used the Dina Wakeley paints in, you know, turquoise and blue and yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we then, uh, what else did I do? I used, I chose the, the focal point image that I was, I was looking for. Hey, Michelle. Um, the focal point image that I wanted to start with with this one. So everything was based around this page. I then built my page. So building the page for me was taking the Tim Holtz collage papers. So these are all available online and I've got a truckload of them in stock. Um, and tore and used that across the bottom and across the top. Um, put it on with gel medium. So the reason we use gel medium is because it dries lovely and clear, gives a great adhesion, and it allows me to polish it off on the top so that it is all the same surface area. Um, I used one of these really cool Montmartre brushes. Um, well, I actually used a Tim Holtz one, but these ones are same but different. And these work fantastic for putting gel medium on. Um, what else did I do? I stamped. I used the, we all make, is that, we all know, what is that one? Don't Overthink stamp from Natalie May that I designed. Um, and, oh, I've just had an idea. Um, and I stamped with black archival ink here, 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 without using a block. I just used it as a, um, a loose bendy stamp. What else did I do? We stenciled. So I used the new Dina Wakeley stencils. Um, so that is the done is better one with a blending tool to pop on my words there. Used the drawing pen 
to go around the outside and do a little uh, create a frame and a bit of doodling my black stabilo pencil to enhance the sketched images and then the um, white um, Pintor pen to do the whites of her eyes um, I don't think I missed any steps so I'll take a photo of that and put the links up online to the products that I used um, so thank you very much to everybody for tuning in uh, I do appreciate the love and the support um, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow I'll be doing another live Facebook demo session tomorrow morning and then again tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow's classes are going to be in the morning I'm going to be using the product that is discounted for the product of the day um, actually you know what I'm going to use the morning and afternoon so in the morning I'm going to do some card fronts some some beautiful little cards and then in the afternoon I'm going to do an art journal page using the product of the day for tomorrow and you're not gonna want to miss it um thanks michelle um guys have a fantastic day jump online nataliemay.com.au wash your hands kiss your kids have a glass of wine sit in the sun get some vitamin d into you and um love you later